Tip one, why not keep the cost down and do it at home? Why have the venue cost when you could have a really beautiful, intimate occasion in your home or your back garden? You can just pop up a gazebo and off you go. It's all about immediate family and very close friends. It doesn't have to be a ridiculous, enormous affair. The guest list doesn't have to get out of control and you can then spend the money somewhere else. Tip two, why not combine with a first birthday? Now hear me out, this is a great way of not only keeping within a budget, but also first birthdays can be actually quite tricky to mark because it's not like your little one has a huge friend network and it's a great way to combine that celebration of officially welcoming your little one into the world with a birthday celebration. You can then incorporate grandparents, you can appoint uh, supporting adults or godparents or whatever you wanna call them and the siblings can take part in the ceremony as well. You can get super creative with it and introduce your latest addition into the world in a really heartwarming, magical, fun and unique way. Tip three, if your newborn loves music, incorporate that nursery rhyme or those songs that make their little face light up. Honestly, involving music is just a wonderful way to mark milestones. From my experience as a children's entertainer, I always encourage the involvement of songs and music, background music, or in the case of a naming ceremony, get the nursery rhymes in. It's such a fun thing and a great way to involve everyone, and it really does make your little ones smile. They just love it.